So I first got involved with farming oh, way back when. I was brought up on sheep and beef farms in Southland and was raised on Mount Linton Station out near Ojai. So I've done six seasons in the dairy industry and just recently finished up to go study full time at Lincoln University. Some of the challenges I faced in farming definitely been or oh, the lack of support in some of the roles that I've been in. So I think that's something that definitely needs worked on in the industry. Some of the important things that I do to look after myself is getting off farm, taking time out and just refreshing. I enjoy going hunting and just yeah, being outdoors, even if I'm not hunting, going and watching deer in their natural habitat and just listening to the birds and just resetting. I know when my body needs that and I just turn my phone off for the rest of the time there's no reception anyway and just go and um, yeah, relax in the hills. What you put into your body, what you eat, um, I've established that it's definitely not sustainable to just you know try to survive on toast over calving period. It doesn't do anyone justice and yeah, you definitely can't handle calving when you're not fueling your body right. For me, when there's a lot of stresses on farm, there's a lot going on. Something as simple as going to the pub and just talking to other people. A lot of farmers are honest about what's going on. So if you've got troubles on farm, chances are everyone else is in the same boat. You know, the weather doesn't just impact you, it impacts everyone in the community. Something that I've picked up on is writing down three good things every day. And I think that's helped a lot with just letting go of the little things that niggle at you and allowing yourself to just reset. The world's not going to end because the cows, you know, went to the wrong paddock first, that sort of thing. So getting past that and appreciating the positives in each day definitely made an impact on my mental health and the way that I see the world and how I allow the world and things that happen to impact me. It's what we've always done as a family is look after people and if someone, you know, if you have visitors around you feed them, it's natural as Māori and it's a value that we've been raised with. And so it comes naturally to look after the people that you have in your farming business and your team and everyone loves food. One of the key messages I think is resonating with me at the moment is that we are looking after ourselves better, that we really need to carry on that, but we also need to look after the people around us. I've had employers before that have cooked dinner for me during carving because I'm a single woman living on my own and it's had a huge impact on my ability to do my job and do my job well. I've recognised that my why and what drives me is that I really want to see rangatahi in the primary industries. I'm from Tuhoi and we have huge unemployment rates and we also have huge staffing issues in the primary industry. So I think we can fix two problems by solving um, them together. And I think that will have a huge impact, not only on the rangatahi that come into the primary industries and not only milking cows, but there's multiple opportunities. It will have a ripple impact on their whānau and on where they go in life and where their whānau go in life. And I think that's really important and I definitely um, yeah, want to work in that space. Kia ora tātou, ko Shayan toku um, Head along to the Farm Trail website to get some tips and tricks on how to look after yourself in the farming industry. Cut